up, freaks? In the VIP, just want to do a quick check-in here. Kickstart a new week. We're now over a month, at least uh, over 30 days into this whole lockdown, quarantine thing. So really what I want to do is just get a mental check-in from you, mental and physical and emotional check-in from you. Just where you're at, how are things going, what are some of the biggest struggles you're having. Also, I want to know if you're, you've figured out a daily routine that you're going to stick to throughout this time that you're stuck at home, working from home, whatever it is, the homeschooling. You can see now this is the way it's going to be and probably into the part of the summer or most of the summer. Who knows what? We have no clue. So what's been your biggest struggle so far is one of the things I want to know. Also, I want to know if you've actually gotten into a routine. Are you still just winging it? Because if you're just winging it, you're, you're going to drive yourself crazy. You're going to make this stuff 10 times harder than it has to be if you don't create a routine. Now, if you, your routine might have to be a lot different, and that's fine than it used to be because the world is different. The reality is different. That's totally fine. The world is always changing. If you don't know that, every single thing in the world is changing. This second is gone. It will never be here again. It's already gone. It's already changed to this second. You've already grown a billionth of a follicle of hair. Like, I shave my face in the morning. By the time I get to the other side, this side already starts growing back in. There's constant change in the world, in the air, in the trees, the way that the, the world is spinning, the whole universe. There is constant freaking change. So you need to just be willing to accept that and deal with it and prepare for it and be ready for it and make the most of that no matter what happens in, in the universe. You need to be prepared for that change. So this change that's come about, this is just our reality. So have you yet? It's been now over a month. Now I have to tell you, you need someone to tell you this stuff. If you have not already created a regular schedule routine that you're sticking to, it could be completely different than your old routine used to be in the old world, but this is our new reality. If you haven't done that, you're, you're completely bullshitting. You need to do that. You need to have a routine, a schedule set. You can't just wake up a different time every morning. You wouldn't have done that, that before. In, in the military, we call it a pattern of life. It's a pattern of life where, we're, that's where you're, you're seeing how things go, how the enemy operates. What's their patterns of life so we know when to strike, when to attack, and you need to have a pattern of life unless someone's out to get you. Then you want to be a little erratic and take different routes. But whatever, that's besides the point. You need a pattern of life. You need to have a schedule, a consistent schedule, a pattern, a routine. You need to be organized. There's no way that you should have gone these last, think about it, think about how crazy that is. If you don't have a set routine already set and scheduled for this new world that we're in, this new reality, that you've just been winging it now for over a month, over 30 days, just think about that if that's been you. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. You can put in the comments below if you've adjusted to this and you've created a new schedule. Or maybe you were so locked in and dialed in before that this is just business as usual. And that's what we want to try to help you do is prepare for any kind of disaster, whatever happens, that you're always ready for it, that nothing changes, that it's just business as usual is the way it should eventually become, that you shouldn't have to change your schedule and your pattern too much. But I know this that maybe we weren't so prepared for this, so it's been a huge shock and it's been a huge, whatever, disastrous strike and effect. But I want to know if, in the, if you already have established a new schedule, a new routine, a new pattern that you're sticking to. Because you need to. If you haven't, you need to quit bullshitting. Because just sitting and waiting, sitting it out, this wait and see approach and just winging it and sleeping in and doing shit you normally wouldn't have done with your life. Sitting around watching all kinds of dumb Netflix stuff or whatever. Things you wouldn't have originally or normally done. You should not be doing now. They're not going to serve you. They're not going to serve you when we when things get back onto whatever the new normal track is. I'm not going to say back to normal because... There's no such thing as normal. There's no such thing as back to normal. It's the new normal, whatever that new normal is. But I can tell you, if you're not on a routine and you're not on a schedule and you're not consistent, it's not going to be serving you now. It's not going to be serving your kids, your family. It's not going to be serving your career, your business. It's not going to be serving whatever future world normal is out there coming for us in the, the weeks and several months to come whenever we get back to that. So that's a, that's a couple first couple things I want to know is first, what's the biggest thing you've been struggling with on this lockdown? And the second is, have you already set a consistent schedule and routine? And the reason why I put those as the two questions is I'm suspecting that they might be connected. That might be one of the number one things you're struggling with. And you need to get that locked down. That's going to make a world of difference 
once you can get that struggle, that consistent struggle, that consistent, if that is your struggle, have consistency, once you get that down, that scheduling down, that organization down, it's going to make a huge difference for you, massive difference for you. Then it's Monday right now. So the other thing I want to know is, did you get in your workout during the weekend? Did you get your training in during the weekend? Did you eat healthy during the weekend? Were you focused during the weekend? Did you maintain your discipline during the weekend? Because you're already locked up at home. So there's no way that you, you should be getting even worse on the weekend just because the weekend. Because really, if you think about it, there's almost no weekend anymore. Every, every, if you, you might have been living like every day is a weekend. and you got to stop that shit. I'm telling you, you got to stop that. You have to make a commitment to stop that. Make a commitment to get on track, to set up those patterns of life, to set up that schedule and that consistency. So those are the things I want to know is, what has your biggest struggle been so far? Have you set up a new routine, a new schedule, and been sticking to it? What percentage have you been sticking to it? If you haven't, you need to get your shit together because it's now over a month in this. There's no excuse not to be set up. You can't just be like, this is the, put on your big boy pants and make this shit happen. Then the next thing is, did you work out this weekend? Did you maintain your discipline this weekend? And then fourth, did you work out today, Monday? Did you kickstart the week? You, you always had those weeks, those patterns. Keep it going. Don't think every day is a weekend. You're just lounging around in your damn pajamas. Get up. Get dressed. Spray on the damn cologne. Take a damn shower. All the stuff you normally would do. Find a routine. You have, you have to deal with the kids at home and, and help them with their, their studying and the homeschooling, whatever. Build that, put that into your routine. When you set them off on these tasks to do, you help them a little bit. Have them do some work on their own while you go get this done. Prioritize and execute. That's what you need to do throughout your day. Prioritize and execute it. Simple as that. Put it down on your calendar. Put it down on your schedule and make it happen. So those are the few things I want to know. Then the last thing I want to know is what is your goal for the next 30 days? What is your goal for the next 30 days? What is your plan from where you are now? Let's assume that we're, you're still on this lockdown and it's still semi whatever it is now. Things are still pretty shut down. What is your goal for the next 30 days? What are you going to achieve and accomplish in the next 30 days? And not just physically. I mean, you could put a you could put a fitness goal, you could put a personal goal, you could put a professional goal, or all three. And you should be doing that stuff every day. You should be writing, do, setting your goals, talking about your goals, repeating your goals, writing down your goals, telling people about your goals all the time. So, what are your goals for the next thirty days, personally, professionally, and physically with your fitness? Next thing I want to know is what are your victories? What are your victories today? What victories did you have today? What wins did you have today? What victories did you have this weekend? Those are the other things I want to know. So put in the comments below. You can even send me a private message if you just want to talk about it on the side, whatever it is. So I want to know, what's been your biggest struggle so far with the lockdown? Have you set a consistent schedule and stuck to it so far? Did you get your training in this weekend? Did you get training in today, which is Monday? What is your goal for the next 30 days? And what were your victories? What wins? I want to stack. I want to hear a list of stacked, small wins. Little victory after victory after victory after victory leads to massive success. So start stacking those little wins and, and realize what you, you, your victories were for the day. What wins did you have? Got a workout in. Ate healthy. Read a book. Meditated. Went for a jog. Did my journaling. Did some stretching. Play with the kids. Taught the kids schoolwork. Like, think about it. Think of all the wins, all the things you stack, those little victories. These are wins that you're not even realizing you're getting throughout the day. You're just thinking about how things suck and how the world sucks. And, and this things, it's not fair. It's not fair. Life isn't fair sometimes. That's just the way it is. So start thinking about what are all those little wins you had. You had a great conversation with this person. You, whatever, you, you mowed your lawn, whatever it is. You found the, a sale on toilet paper. These are small wins you need to stack. That's what success is all about, just stacking the small wins. It's not about the big home run, the big swing that knocks the ball out of the park. It's about those little singles and doubles, those little base hits that just add up over time and lead to massive success and really massive freaking happiness and control of your circumstances. That's what it's all about. So... That's that on, on those questions and the quick checkup mentally for you and emotionally and physically, really. The next thing is we're, we're starting to roll out, as you've seen, the equipment loaner program. So make sure you, you 
Watch those videos, get the equipment in you need, let us know what equipment you need, get those forms back that we're gonna email to you so that you can get the equipment you need into your home and we can keep rolling. So then on top of that, think about, if you don't know, we have the 21 days to $21 still, you can get your friends, your family members, your coworkers, and the, the beauty of this program is now, like, think about it. We've, this situation, which, you know, it's a shitty situation, whatever you wanna call it, has turned into, now you can get your friends and family members and coworkers to work out with you no matter where they are in the world. There's someone that signed up for the 21 day challenge that was just one of our followers on Instagram in Tripoli. That's on the other side of the globe. And, and he's doing the Zoom. He's on a, it's like a 12 hour time difference or something, whatever it is. So he's going to do them sometimes remotely and sometimes live. But how awesome is that? That that's, you could be getting your friends, your family members, your coworkers. So I ask you to please Spread the message out there. See the links of the 21 days that we do and, and get your friends to try it out. Your friends, your friends, no matter where they are in the world, they can join you now. Like think of how amazing that is. They can join you from anywhere in the world. They can experience what you've been doing for all this time. Whatever it is, wherever your, 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 your parents, your kids, whatever it is, anywhere in the world. Someone joined from North Carolina to this weekend. Someone joined from Tripoli. The Facebook Lives that we have, people joined from all over the country, all over the world. They've been from South Africa, from Malaysia. They were in London, Canada, all over the place have attended and followed along on the Facebook Live workout. So please share, tag your friends in the post. Do a quick video of yourself after one of your workouts. T tell about how awesome of a workout you had and just post it on your page. Tag some friends who might be interested and put a link to the 21 day challenge there. If, and, and of course, don't forget to check in for charity. We are still donating, even especially at times like this is when you need to start to think about even doing more of that kind of stuff, giving back more. So please continue to check in for charity. We keep donating automatically. The more you check in, the more we donate to the relief funds. So just below or send me a private message, an email, whatever it is, answer all those questions. I wanna see where you're at. I wanna see how you're doing mentally and physically and emotionally. Check in. You need to check in. You need to have someone holding you accountable. You need to have someone telling you, no, stop doing this. And I will be that person for you to tell you, do this, stop doing that, quit bullshitting here, step it up over here. That's what you need right now in your life is someone that's going to tell you that stuff and going to tell you that stuff straightforward. Because listen, this is now wartime. This is not peacetime. There's no time for beating around the bush. There's no time for worrying about all this. Of, of course, still being tactful and professional, but there's really no time for having hurt feelings about, about things. It's like, this is the way it needs to be. This is what you need to do. We need to get this nailed down now. Like you need to have your schedule. You need to have a routine now. And if you're not, you're not doing it, you're bullshitting. That's how straightforward you need to have things said sometimes because it's over a month into this. And if you're still just winging it, this is your life you're, we're talking about here. Like, let's take this shit serious. Let's live it like this is the last day that you're going to be on earth. That's the way you need to approach every day when your feet hit the floor. So I need your commitment on all of this. So please just put the comments below about answering those questions. Just send them to me in an email, a private message, whatever it is. And then when it comes to the at-home workouts, please just have your friends, your family members, your coworkers, tag them, get them on board. There's so much more available to them now than ever before. The amount of content that we're producing and pumping out on a regular basis, if you haven't seen, like in the peak portal, I am literally personally putting in new workout videos, new exercise clips, new mindset videos, new nutrition videos every single day, seven days a week. It just keeps getting flooded and flooded with more content, more information, more things that are going to help you out. So even if someone doesn't want to follow along in the workouts, they can even now just get a membership just to the peak portal where they can have access to that and follow along. So there's so many options for your friends, your family members, your coworkers. So I ask you to please, please to have them try out the sessions, the 21 days to $21, take a picture, check in, then tag your friends, post about it, put a, put a quick, a quick selfie video about it. And of course, check in for charity. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below or just send me a private message. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.